Hi, Colin. It's Wednesday. Now, Colin, in response to the question you asked at the end of your last video, I am going to try and talk about my ideas on feminism. Unfortunately, my ideas on feminism are a bit complicated. Bear with me. I agree with the definition of what feminism is as equality. That's something I am 100% A-OK -okay with. But there is a connotation to the word feminism that concerns me. There's a connotation with this label that I am not 100% on board with. And Colin, I really want to tread lightly here when I say that while I can call myself a feminist, it is not a label that I would typically volunteer to describe myself. I would much rather call myself an egalitarian or say that I hold an equality-based humanist perspective. Because the label of feminism is incredibly heavy. To be completely honest, I don't love talking about this topic because it is such an incredibly emotional topic for so many people. And having a logical discussion about feminism in modern society is nearly impossible when confronted with the Molotov cocktail that is emotion and stereotypes. Also, while I recognize that gender equality is still an issue in the modern world, I personally don't entirely understand why gender equality is still an issue in the modern world. I feel like this is such an easy thing to fix that the fact that we haven't is just ridiculous. I mean, when the question is how do we make men and women equal, the answer just needs to be make men and women equal. Women make less money per hour than men? Pay women the same amount as men. Or conversely, you can just pay men the same amount as women, which is also an option that is far less often considered because no one wants to make less money. It seems like this should be a very simple problem to solve, but unfortunately, societal attitudes are not so easy to change. Issues like feminism, like racism, like homosexuality, like gender identity are all incredibly difficult societal issues to address because for some wonderful reason people are incredibly bad at understanding that other people are still people. We are very bad at stopping talking long enough and stopping thinking in our one-track minds long enough to truly understand other people. All of this should not be as hard as it is because we should be able to talk about these things and discuss these things, but the problem is that we are not trained or taught or encouraged to talk about these issues. Women should not have to be trained to defend themselves because a man might attack them. Women should not have to be paranoid that someone is going to hurt them. No one should have to be paranoid that anyone is going to attack them. And everyone should understand that other people are people that deserve to be respected in the same way that they are being respected. It's a really easy concept that for some reason people cannot seem to grasp. Everyone needs to be taught that it is not okay to sexually assault someone. Everyone needs to be taught that stalking is wrong. And everyone needs to understand that we are all human beings with thoughts and feelings and emotions and issues and problems and that we need to understand that and internalize that. Because even though being open-minded is surprisingly incredibly difficult for us, it is something that we need to do. We need to tolerate other people, we need to tolerate different perspectives, and we need to accept them. Seeing other people as people should not be as hard as some people make it out to be. And this applies to everyone, including myself, including you, Colin, including everyone at Macaulay and every other high school and college and middle school and elementary school and corporate office and everywhere on earth. It applies to everyone. We are all people, we all need to be imagined complexly, and I understand that that's going to be hard, even though it shouldn't be. Back to the Femininjas, because by the way, that is an awesome name. And there are two things that I want to say about this. Number one, the idea that this is a club that could possibly be exclusionary is ridiculous, because by definition, it is equality, it is all-encompassing. What? And number two, forbidden? Why would anyone forbid a club that supports equality? That doesn't make any sense. Also, going back to the exclusionary idea, this is an all-girls high school. Even if you look at the most radical types of feminism, how, how could this possibly can be construed as an exclusionary concept? When your student population is defined as all-girls, and your viewpoint is equality, specifically for women to men, there shouldn't be any issues here with exclusion. To whatever Macaulay admin made that call, what? 
And so with that in mind, I'm just going to conclude by saying this. Equality is not and should not be a question. It's that simple. Colin, thank you for bringing up this topic, and I hope we can look at more of these bigger questions in the near future because it is more interesting to talk about, and these are discussions that need to be had. We need to talk about these things, and we need to understand these things so that we can better work towards a better future. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching. Colin, I'll see you on Saturday. I'm tired. My hair's messed up. I don't want to talk about this anymore.